Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to traditional program users. For today, guys, we're going to talk about recyclable. Okay, simple recyclable, of course, with JSON. Now, our JSON data, we're going to retrieve them from online. We shall be downloading them from online right here from this particular site. This is a site with some public JSON data. If you put a browser to this one right here, we shall be able to access at this particular data. Now, for us, these are user objects right here. Okay. The whole of it, these are JSON array. Of course, it's encapsulated in these particular angle brackets. Now, our JSON array consists of JSON objects. Uh, JSON objects are computed with these particular braces right here. For instance, a single JSON object, as you can see over here, consists of a single user. Now, the JSON objects, of course, are, are separated by commas. You can see a single user, for instance, has ID name, email, username, etc. For us, we shall be downloading this particular JSON data, pass it, then retrieve this particular name over it. Now for us, let's have a look at our demo, a recyclable software empty. We come click our fab button, download. You can see right here, we're having all our data in our recyclable, okay? This is our JSON data, guys. This is what we're looking at, retrieving uh, these particular names over here. And then you can see we are showing them in our simple array list, in our simple of course, a recyclable gaze. This is what we're gonna look at. Join me, we we'll get started. The first thing, we create our project. Go ahead, create our Android application. I'm using Android Studio 2.1.2. Once we've created our project, let's move over to our Gradle scripts. Inside our Builder Gradle, remember, we're using a recyclable, with, uh, of course, which consists of card views as the view items. So for that one, we're going to need to come right here to our dependencies. Then of course, first we're going to add the design support uh, 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 dependency right here. We're going to add it, of course, going to help us when we're working, of course, with the fab button. Okay, remember, we're going to be using a fab button in our application, so we need it. We're also going to be using a recyclable, all those are contained right here. Now, of course, we're also going to be working with the card view, so make sure that you add this particular card view right here. Then of course come sync the click right here to sync our project. Once we've done that one, let's move over to our manifest. Inside our manifest, we need to make sure that we have the permission for connection to the internet. So please make sure that you add this one right here. Okay. So once we've done that one, then of course we move over to our resources right here. We're going to have these two generated for us by Android Studio. Go over inside our content main. Then inside our content main, make sure that this particular recyclable. Uh, widget right here okay once we've done that one remember this is a recyclable that we are dealing with so we're going to need to define for it its layout that's going to represent the view items now for us we're only going to have one text view in our model layout right here of course these are card view as you can see so we just have this one i've called it name this is it those are our layouts let's move over to our classes we're going to have i'm going to arrange a classes of course in two packages right here m recycler this is going to deal for us with the recycler view we are going to have our view holder class we are also going to have our adapter class next we are going to have our m json right here this package is going to contain classes relating of course to downloading and passing a json data for us connector establish connection for us downloader download for us a json data and then passer to pass for us our json data okay so first let's come over right here start with the connector connector is a simple class we're going to establish our connection we're simply going to have one simple method right here it's we're making it static we return for an object we call it connect we pass in a, a string which is our we're calling json url so for us the first thing of course we come establish right here instantiate our url okay then catch our malformed url exception then we come right here get our call our url dot open connection this is going to return for us the url connection okay then of course we cast it to http url connection because we shall be uh then we come right here come set our request method we shall be making a get request to our server so we come set request method as a get right here then connect timeout as well as read timeout we are setting them to 15k ms then do input through yes our connection is going to support input because remember we are inputting data into application okay we're downloading data into application we come return con okay we're opening a connection to our url right here we're going to catch our exception this this is it this is our connector class 
it's very simple it's going to help us establish our connection to our network if you establish our connection right here we're going to come to our download across this is where we're going to be downloading our data now for us this is one we're going to perform this one in a background thread so we come right here make sure that this one derive from async task okay so the first thing of course for the constructor we're going to pass a few parameters first our context then our json url and then of course our recycler view so we come over right here then of course we come now remember this is a j async task subclass so that's why we're overriding these methods on to execute this method shall be called before we begin our task then doing background this way shall be performing a task on post execute shall be called once our task is finished is going to return for us of course doing background is going to return for us a result right here that we are calling string the result it returns shall be passed to our on post execute we've called it json data because actually our task in this case shall be downloading our data so this is it this is what we're going to be doing right here of course uh, the next thing that we're going to do let's come right here create this method that's going to return for us a string the method itself we're going to call it download so this is our download method the first thing of course to download our data we need to establish our connection so for that one let's come object we call the connect let's call it connection now we're going to call our connector class then we call the connect method we pass in our json url this is going to give us an object first we're going to cast this particular object we get to string so to then check if it starts with the term error if this is the case then what are you going to do well we're going to stop there and then return this particular connect as a string does it otherwise if that's not the case then we're going to proceed ahead right here instead by catch block we're simply going to come http url connection con we're going to uh, just cast that our connection which is an object of http url connection so we do so once we've done that one then we're going to come over right here the first thing that we're going to do once we've established our connection right here is in this con we're going to get a response code from the server okay so con dot get response code this is going to give us a response code now if uh it's con dot http okay if http okay if that's our response then we're going to proceed on and then download our data but then of course if that's not the case then we're going to just get our response message and then append the term error uh, just beside it now for us how are we going to download our data well first of course we come right here buffered input stream uh, we pass in our input stream now our input stream of course we're getting it from our connection then of course we come right here buffered reader we insertiate our buffered reader we insertiate our input stream reader we pass in our input stream now we create this variable lens is going to hold for us we shall be reading our data line by line we shall be holding them in this particular variable we're going to have right here a json data that we use a string buffer where we shall be appending all these lines that we shall be reading so yes we come read line by line at the same time checking it's not null we come json data dot append we append that particular line we come close our resources buffer reader as well as our input stream then we make sure that we return our JSON data. It was a string buffer. We cast it to string. If we're having an IO exception, we're going to return it over right here. So of course, at the end of the day, we come here, check if JSON data, okay, dot to string. Okay, of course, it's already to a string. Then we're simply going to check if it starts with the term error. Then that case, we know that it's an error. So we're going to come right here, string error equal to json data and then of course we come uh, display that particular error for us in our toast at runtime so we come right here see then we come and then right here we're going to dis display our error otherwise if that's not the case then what are you going to do well what we're going to do is simple we're simply going to call our parser class to pass our data okay so we're going to call our parser class Giz this is it this is our downloader class this is the class so of course shall be downloading our data right here okay so let's move over to our parser class. Downloader class then we come to a json parser we pass that particular data that we've uh, downloaded okay so in this case we're going to come the first thing that we're going to do 
this is passing also we shall be performing in an async task in a background thread so we come over right here make it derive from async task now once we've done that one then of course we're going to come right here override this particular uh, methods on pre-execute called before our task begins in the doing background and then on post execute of course where we called after doing background method so what we're going to do of course first let's come right here pass in uh, the above three fields first alt insert we come right here context adjacent data as well as a recycler we shall be passed to us okay then of course once we have that one of course this one right here let me comment this one should be recycler view not a list not a grid view so we're going to come right here then the next thing that we're going to do we're going to have this simple method that we're calling pass this method right here uh, this is how we shall be passing our data you can see it's very simple right here inside our try catch block first to insert a json array json array j a equal to new json array we pass in our json data once we have that one then of course we simply uh, declare our json object right here first this particular users this is an array list that where we're going to be having all the users remember the data that you're using uh, right here we're getting the usernames okay so first we make sure that we clear the array list to avoid duplications then we come here loop through a json array as we loop through it we shall be getting json objects actually a json array uh, consists of uh, json objects okay for us a json data or json arrays array of course consisted of multiple in fact 10 json objects now we shall be getting each of them right here by passing the index of that particular json object and in fact our json object just in our case just represent a single user so first what we're going to do again to, to get that particular username okay so j order get string we pass in the name now this name field you must have it in your json data for instance if you wanted email you'd pass an email if you wanted an id you'd pass an id but then an id was an integer so you'd use get int so users dot add we add that particular name we return true if you have a json exception we're going to return false that's it of course to implement it we can pass method so we come right here call the pass now of course we come here then it's passed remember the boolean right here if we successfully passed we're going to bind our data of course to our view then otherwise if that's not the case then we're going to come right here and display a simple toast message so for us what we're doing is simple of course we come toast to make text then of course we say unable to pass okay does it if we're unable now what about if we've successfully passed well we're going to bind but then for that one let's come and deal with the recycle view first now we're going to come to our my view holder class this is the class that's going to be responsible for holding for us the view that shall be recycling in this case we're only dealing with a text view these are simple uh, data we're displaying so first we're going to make it derive from of course a uh, recycler view, dot view holder then of course we come right here we create the constructor now we simply come and then of course initialize right here our name txt item view dot find view by id we reference it from our model in the mail right here this, this is it that's our recycler view uh view holder let's move over to our my adapter class this is one right here of course is going to uh, derive from recycler view dot adapter we pass in as the generic type we're going to pass in our my view holder so the first thing of course we need to come uh, right here and then implement a couple of methods first on create view holder we of course we initialize our view holder then on bind view holder we bind our views to our data get item count returns for us the total number of items we have and of course the first thing we're going to pass the context as well as the array list to this particular class once we've done that one of course we come over right here we're going to inflate our layout our we're going to call it v then we come layout inflator dot from we pass in our context then we're going to call the inflate method we pass in of course the layout now r dot layout dot model it's our model layout that of course one right now we come what's our view group well we have it here as the parent shall we be attaching at uh, this view that we've created to our view group right here we say false so what are we returning right here we need to return an instance of our my view holder we pass in our view type over here so how are we going to bind our data well for us it's simple we 
reference the view which is our name txt call it set text method set our data in this case we have our users we simply call get then it is going to give us uh, as long as we pass the position it's going to give us the username we set it over right here to an empty txt get item count don't forget this one we're going to say users the size and that's it that's going to do for us this this is our my adapter class of course now to implement it we need to come over to our json parser once we've passed our data we need to uh, bind now let's come over right here first get our my adapter adapter equal to new my adapter we pass in the context we pass in our recycler view then of course this one right here we need to pass in the context now once we have that one we have our recycler view rv let's set adapter okay set adapter then what's the adapter right here of course we have it remember this is not a recycler we were passing instead we are passing our users which is a, a realist guys this is how we're going to bind our data let's not forget our json downloader class we need to call this particular parser now let's come here say new json parser okay we pass in our context we're also going to pass in what's next apart from the context we needed to pass in our json data of course so json data and lastly our recycler view then we call the execute method of course to start our, our async task now we have that one we come to our main activity which is easy right here first we come here we're going to have the url we're pointing to this url is going to give us json data of course our recycler view right here now let's come set up our recycler view first initializing right here then setting its layout manager okay that shall be responsible of course for positioning items in our recycler view we're going to use a linear layout manager we pass in the context which is this we come start our task our downloading task by calling uh execute method of course of our json downloader class then of course we pass in the context our json url as well as our recycler view that's it guys that's it it's we are over we come inside here just make sure that you added this permission for connection to the internet there is that's it let's run our project and have a look the first thing we get is a null pointer exception and we can see exactly where it's pointing us to of course uh just in data that starts with we can see very well right here we didn't call our download method what a silly mistake we come here add it rerun our project okay and have a look so here we are with our empty recycler view we come click our fab button very fast our data gets downloaded and right here you can see we have all our data just as we expected guys this is it this is our tutorial uh, recycler view with json we've also covered recycler view grid view recycler view not recycler view grid view json grid view json list view okay json uh, spinner etc so you can also check those are the tutorials otherwise for now if you want the source code right here we're going to attach it to our website so you shall be able to browse through it over there we shall also go to have it of course in github does it guys i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed the tutorial please if you have uh, like the video share it with friends and family and also make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss any of our tutorials we do post our tutorials quite regularly otherwise take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial